A proposal's job is to identify a problem and suggest a solution. Proposals help an organization to remain dynamic and healthy. What kinds of positive changes can proposals bring about in an organization? Your proposal may fix inefficient or dangerous practices, win contracts or sell products and services, expand, develop, or improve business or operations, or meet specific ethical or legal requirements. What types of proposals might bring about such positive changes? Proposals commonly fall into one of the following types. First, the suggestion or concept proposal tests the waters with an idea before proceeding with a full proposal. Second, the sales or client proposal offers products and or services to potential customers. Such a proposal is often a response to an RFP, a request for proposals issued by a company or government agency. The fullest, most complex sales proposal is the major bid. Third, the grant proposal requests funding for a project from an agency, government body, or company. Fourth, the research proposal requests permission and support for a line of investigation. Fifth, the justification proposal seeks approval of an expenditure or expansion. And sixth, the troubleshooting proposal studies a specific problem in operations and recommends a specific solution. Regardless of what type of proposal you are writing, you can generate the best result by following the writing process, pre-writing, drafting, revising, and refining. Pre-writing involves getting your persuasive task in focus and developing your persuasive argument. Start by analyzing your audience, especially regarding its capacity to make a decision about your proposal. What are your readers' needs, values, and priorities? What do they know about the issue? For example, have your readers requested the proposal because of knowledge about the problem? What's at stake for the readers? Then clarify the precise outcome that you want, the exact change. Be sure to carefully research the problem or need at the heart of your proposal. Study the problem or needs background, origin, history, and connection to larger issues, its parts, its causes and effects, past attempts at solutions. Study possible solutions and choose the best solution, one that meets all your criteria as well as the readers and list the benefits of your solution. Once you have gathered all the material needed to make a persuasive case, jot down a basic outline of how you plan to organize that information in your proposal. Now you're ready to draft the proposal. You may want to clearly state your recommendations first and then provide the background details that build up to those recommendations. Whatever order you choose, here are tips for your opening, middle, and closing. In the opening, identify your proposal with a change-focused title or subject line, as well as appropriate names, dates, and reference numbers. In addition, provide necessary background and establish your persuasive theme the seriousness of the problem, the benefits of a solution. Lastly, if you wish to be direct, summarize the problem and your recommended solution. Broadly speaking, your proposal's middle supplies the meat of your argument and therefore follows a problem-solution structure. As you define the problem or need in terms of its importance, limits, causes, effects, and so on, tailor your approach to the reader's position. Do you need to be simply informative because the reader is aware of the problem or need? Or do you need to create a strong case for the problem's existence and importance? Your goal in this case is to convince the reader to take ownership of the problem or need. Next, present the criteria for a successful solution. This is the realistic benchmark that different options must reach. Then present alternatives, showing that you considered all possibilities. Once you've set the stage in this way, present your solution, stressing both its superiority to other options and its benefits. Show that the solution matches the problem or need. Lastly, show in concrete detail that your solution or plan is workable. Is it realistic, doable, and desirable? In the closing, drive home your persuasive case with a tight summary that captures the problem or need and your recommendations for positive change, driving home your persuasive theme. 
In addition, anticipate the next step, follow-up contact, a meeting, etc. Once you've drafted your proposal, take time to test the content to make sure that it is as persuasive as possible. Does your argument hold water or leak like a sieve? First, check the ideas. Is your thinking clear, complete, and convincing? Do you use sound cause-effect thinking without logical fallacies? Are your solutions, estimates, and projections honest and realistic? Are your benefit claims testable? Have you considered all outside factors and potential ripple effects? Second, is your organization sound? Will it carry the reader along through your argument, or should certain elements be reordered to be more convincing? Third, is your tone consistently positive and confident, but not aggressive and cocky? Have you been sensitive to the reader's perspective on the issue, as well as to the opposition? Once you've revised the content of your proposal draft, take it to the next step in persuasion by making it polished, readable, and professional through refining. Consider, for example, whether all your words are clear to readers. Have you avoided or defined technical jargon? Have you used accurate terms and plain English? Test your sentences for smoothness by reading them aloud. Have you used strong, logical transitions, powerful, energetic sentences stating conclusions and recommendations, and tactful sentences, perhaps in the passive voice, when discussing causes of the problem? What about issues of grammar, punctuation, usage, mechanics, and spelling? Have you eliminated basic errors that might trip up readers and make a bad impression? Lastly, refine the design. Have you followed all the proposal specifications expected by the company as outlined in the RFP? Does your page layout give your proposal a professional edge? And do techniques like headings, lists, boldface, graphics, and so on make information clear and accessible for readers? Pre-writing drafting, revising, and refining. These four steps will help you write a proposal that is a force for positive change, whether that proposal is a simple suggestion, a sales bid, a grant application, a research plan, a justification proposal, or a troubleshooting proposal. For more information on writing proposals, as well as samples of different types of proposals, see Chapter 6 in Write for Business.